Hello, and welcome to Xamarin University's Lightning Lecture on Application Icons for iOS and Android. I'm Judy McNeil. In our Lightning Lecture, we're going to talk about three different things, and we'll probably talk about those throughout the, the Lightning Lecture. First is design guidelines, resolutions, what kinds of icons do I need just to get up and running. And then we'll go in and we'll make some icons. We'll make icons for uh, iOS and then we'll do some for uh, Android as well. And then throughout the discussion and probably uh, just a little bit then at the end, we'll talk about the value of getting a professional designer. You'll probably see that as we go through this. So let's talk about some design guidelines and resolution first. The best place to go before you ever start designing your icon is to the guidelines that both iOS and Android give us. Um, the iOS one is the iOS Human Interface Guidelines. If you, if you just look that up, you'll see that they've got a lot of guidelines for us in the way we should do our human interface. They also have a section on icons. It's called Icons and Image Design and there's also an app icon one as well. And uh, they're very particular about how they want the app icons. So let's go visit that website. So here's the website, iOS Human Interface Guidelines. I've clicked on the Icon and Image Design section and it comes up with icon and image sizes. This is a good place to start so that you know where, uh, what sizes you need. These are sizes in pixels of, of uh, your icons and your images. And if you scroll down, there's the app icon, app icon for the app store, some launch files, spotlights, settings, toolbars, tab bar. They give you the guidelines on the sizes for those. The other section is app icon. When you actually start making your app icon, and there's lots of great uh, advice here and also the rules on how they want the, the icons. And they do mention, and it's it's worth mentioning again, is um, is that you need these beautiful, memorable app icons so that they stand out, and your users would like to, you know, try your app from the app store, or they can find it easily on their launch screen. Now, one thing that I do want to set here, I'm not going to go through the whole document with you, but there is um, a section here on how they would like you to uh, create your icons. Make sure your icon has 90 degree corners. That surprises people because these icons have rounded corners. They, uh, there is a mask applied. So you will need to have your icon as a square icon or 90 degree corner icon. Um, and then there is the mask applied. So let's get started doing that. Let's go make some icons. I have Sketch up and running. It's an app that you can get for the Mac. It's kind of nice just for making some icons. And we'll just start real quick making some iOS icons. The first thing that I want to do is make sure that I have a an artboard up in Sketch. And then I'm going to go over to the icons section and there is a a 180 iPhone 6 Plus, that's a good place to start. I can click on that one. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit to make it easier to work with. So the first thing that I'm going to do, we're just going to make a quick icon for a nuts and bolts app. Um, first thing I want to do is create a rectangle there and put some fill on it so I've got some background going. We'll just fill it with a nice light blue, that works. Then I want to add we're going to make a, a nut. So let's add a shape. We'll add a polygon. And we'll kind of try to center it there. There we go. And I want to change that oops, from five points to six points so we can make it look like a nut. I'm also going to add another polygon, an oval. We'll center it in a moment. Let's 
let's try there we go close enough and we'll center that now I need to select both of these because I'm going to do a subtraction there we go that takes the middle out <laughs> and now let's just put a tiny bit of shadow in there just um, just to make it look a little bit better okay so we have our sort of our icon here now the nice thing about sketch is there is a plugin let's actually have the icon highlighted there is a plugin that you can get for sketch that'll help you get all of the icons for iOS now once again this is a good place to mention that a an actual professional designer will use the templates they will use the guides um, that come with it and they will probably make each icon separately to make sure that it's real nice but we're gonna make some icons for iOS just so we have it for prototyping and during development so I'll use that plugin and you'll notice that it has made icons for me in all the sizes that I need and I'm going to go ahead and export them so I'll hit export here and I can hit export artboards at the bottom and we're going to choose nuts and bolts icon folder whoops there we go and export it so if we look at our nuts and bolts icons we folder we have all of the icons we need in there and we can just put them into an app and test it out let's see how this works here I have Xamarin Studio open with a single view app in iOS if we go into the resources you'll notice there's the images um, XC assets so that's where we want to put things there's your app icons and we're going to just double click this contents that gives us a nice way to be able to just drag our icons in there so once again if we've got our icons here you'll notice there's my 29 by 29 if I need the spotlight settings for the for iOS um, 5 and 6 or settings for iOS 5 through 8 we'll need that one so we'll drag that in there and drop that off we also need the 2x and the 3x and you'll notice we've got it named for us and real nice we can just start dropping those off so now I have dropped off a few icons enough for us to just test this out so let's go ahead and run this and uh, and see what our icons look like okay so now it's up and running let's hit the home key and see what we've got there's our nuts and bolts and here's our icon notice it's got the rounded corners even though we gave it the square as we were supposed to if I go looking for my spotlight search there it is nuts and bolts nice little spotlight icon there as well so now that we've done some iOS icons let's talk about the Google design guidelines for our Android icons when you go to the guidelines there is an icon guide that will help you uh, with designing your icons icons for Android need to come in several sizes if you've opened an Android application you've opened our template you've got a lot of drawable folders with the different suffixes on them there's the MDPI HDPI XHDPI and those stand for medium high extra high extra extra high and extra 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 high and the guidelines give us some sizes for that medium being our baseline 48 by 48 pixels and then up from there 72 96 144 192 as you can see here so let's go visit the website and then let's go look at our app template and see these drawable folders so here we are in uh, icons under style in our google.com in our design guidelines under icons 
and they talk about product icons they also talk about system icons we're interested in our product icons and they give you some guidelines on making your product icons there's some nice uh, features here if you are a designer or some things that you can show to your professional designer the one that I want to show you a couple of them uh, another product icon grid iOS has one as well that you can use to make sure everything is you know sized correctly and positioned correctly your professional designer will also make sure that pixels line up uh, so you don't get any funny little blur as well and they go through some shapes and some sizes the part that I'd like to show you is our DP unit grid we want to start out uh, with that 48 unit measure so remember our medium or our baseline was our 48 by 48 and they are just suggesting that we maintain that sort of thing as we go as we go all the way up to the four times or the triple extra high uh, 192 by 192 that we maintain that from a one pixel um, uh, at the edge to a four pixel edge uh, and they want to just maintain it and then we have our grid and then we understand how to make it that way so that's what we're going to do but we're going to do it kind of the simple way. Like I said, this is just for prototyping and, and development while you wait for separate icons that come from the designer. So now let's visit that template and make some icons for Android. I'm going to be in my Windows machine for this part and uh, in using Visual Studio. And the reason I'm in my Windows machine is I'm going to use a tool that you can get online, Android Asset Studio. There are a lot of tools. There's a lot of ways to do this. This is just one I happen to pick today um, to to get us some icons. Now, once again, this is going to be for prototyping or for development. And you, like I said, I'm going to hammer that one down. You're going to need a a professional designer once you finally get ready to publish. But we can just feed this in a 512 by 512. Now we happen to have gotten one of those when we did our iOS icons. It gave us one of those for the iTunes store. So we're going to feed that into this one and have it make all of the icons for us. So we're going to give it an image. And we'll use our iTunes artwork 512 image here that we got. And we'll open that. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that it has made for us the triple extra high, the extra high, extra high, and medium icons. Okay, so we have that. I'll download it as a zip. And then we'll put it into an application. So I've gone ahead and renamed the folders with the drawable because that's what I'll need in my app. So let's move those into a Visual Studio uh, Android application in our into our resources folder. So we will make sure that we get all of them and drag them over into our resources folder. And there they are. And if you open them up, there's our icon. If I mouse over that, you can see there's our nuts and bolts icon, and we have it in each of our drawable folders that we need to. If I move down to my triple extra high, you can see it's a bit bigger. <laughs> so we have everything we need, and uh, we'll go ahead and run this. So here it is on the Xamarin Android player. There is our nuts and bolts uh, icon that we created for our main activity. And then if we hit the home button here and our launcher, we should see our nuts and bolts icon here as well. So we had a chance to make icons for iOS and for Android and look at some of the tools that we've got. And once again, this is real good for prototyping and for development because we have to have some icons in there. But you're definitely going to want to get the help of a professional designer when you finally go to publish 
your uh, app's image, your first impression comes from its icons. So it's very important to get a professional involved. They know what to look for. You may have an icon that your heart is set on uh, in your head and they'll know that that's just not going to scale well or that's not going to follow the rules that uh, iOS and that Google put out for us for our application icons. Plus they give you a nice professional polish um, and like I said, they can they can uh, steer you in the right direction. So thank you for attending the lightning lecture of application icons in iOS and Android.